Hi, welcome to Ask the Space Expert for Mission X Train Like an Astronaut. We're at NASA Johnson Space Center, and today we have four very special people with us today. They're going to be asking four very smart people who are the space experts. So let's meet the very four special people. My name is Kate, and I'm five. My name is Jocelyn, and I'm six. My name is Anna, and I'm eight. My name is Julia, and I'm, and I'm six. Good job. All right, now let's meet our space experts. Hi, my name is Susan and I work on the Orion program, which is the next vehicle going to explore space. And I help take care of the crew's health and everything they need to live in space. Hi, I'm Tim. I work in the mechanical design group and I'm currently helping develop a docking system that will bring future spacecraft together. And I'm Clint, and I work in the area that's designing the flight computers that'll control the Orion spacecraft. Hi, my name's Jesse, and I build tools and equipment that the astronauts use while they're on spacewalks. What is the weather most of the time on Mars? That is a great question. So Mars is typically cold, dry, and clear. Now, on a, on a typical summer day, Mars can be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that feels pretty good, right? It's about the temperature of this room. But at night, it can get really cold because the atmosphere in Mars is so thin. And so when it goes from hot to cold, that creates wind and dust storms. So when we design spacesuits and tools and places for the astronauts to live, we'll need to protect them from the dust and keep them warm so they can live on Mars. How long ago does it take to get back from Mars? That's a very good question. It takes a very long time, longer than any car trip or airplane trip you've ever been on. It can take as little as about five months to as much as 10 months to get back from Mars, depending on when you leave and how fast you're going. So that's a pretty long time for us to take care of the astronauts um, on their way there and on their way home. So we worry about a lot of things like being sure they have healthy food to eat, and plenty of good clean water to drink, being sure that they get plenty of exercise, being sure they have medication and medicines in case they would get sick, and being sure that they have lots of fun things to do and good hard work to do during that entire journey home. How do they get more food on Mars? Well, for food on Mars, we're going to have to send some along with the astronauts uh, to last them the whole time that they're there. So we'll have to do some of it that's freeze-dried and, and stuff that won't go bad, which is sort of like the food in your pantry. But we'll also have to have some food that we'll have to keep fresh, like in a refrigerator. And in addition to that, they're also going to have to try to grow the food when they're there. So they can try to grow some fruits and vegetables with special devices that can help them grow the, grow the vegetables while they're there. Do people bounce on Mars? Hmm, that's really interesting. So on Mars, by yourself, you could probably jump two or even three times higher since Mars's gravity is lower on Earth than Earth's. But you'd probably be wearing a spacesuit with lots of heavy tools on it, so those will hold you down, and that'll probably make it about the same. All right, well, I want to thank everyone for joining us today. It was a lot of fun. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! yeah. All right, well, thank you again, and I have one more thing to say. Go Mission X! X.